Hey guys, it's Kevin here on Gear and Gun Reviews. On today's show, we check out the new Agency Arms MP. Threat! What do you think around an agency as a defensive gun? I can dig it. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Awesome. That trigger's freaking great. So, like I said, guys, we have the Agency MP. Now, what is Agency Arms? Agency Arms is a company, a uh, machining company, that takes your standard firearm and just makes it that much better. Um, they're very well known for their Glock setups. Um, you've been seeing it all over the interwebs. Instagram is full of Agency Arms Glocks and setups and everything. So they decided to step out and start doing the M&P line. So real quick, just a real quick run over the gun. They did an RMR cut. They changed the serration so they're no longer scalped. They're more like a Glock side, but they are canted back. They lightened the slide a little bit, did windows both top and on the sides. Um, front serrations, new sights, um, and that's the slide itself. Now they also went down into the frame and they did their accelerator cut, all of the stippling on the gun, changed up the front of the, um, of the trigger guard, sorry, did all the stippling, and it works really well. Now the biggest thing about this gun that really impressed me a lot was the trigger. The trigger on this gun is absolutely insane. Now, I'm a little bit biased when it comes to agency arms because these guys are like family to me. So I brought a really good friend of mine, his name is Joe Farewell. He shoots a Smith & Wesson as a competitive shooter. So I'm gonna let him talk a little bit more about his first impressions of the gun and what he thinks about this. What's going on guys, Joseph Farewell here with Farewell Firearms Training. I'm out here with my buddy Kevin Landers with Gear and Gun Reviews. Um, we're testing out a new toy. He brought it out to my range just to <laughs> just to make me envious a little bit. I run an MP, I shoot competitively uh, three gun, and uh, I've been shooting an MP for going on six years now. So when he showed me the new Agency Arms MP, I was a little bit blown away. Um, I'm pretty partial to my own MP and I'm, I'm happy with it. However, this is a whole nother level. Um, the slide cuts on this are beautiful. Everything comes together really nicely. I don't know if you can see exactly the, uh, the serrations up here on the front are just pristine. Um, we got some, a lot of openings on the slide that lightened it up. And one thing that kind of struck me as unique was the cuts into the actual frame itself. Um, it gives me a place to, to rest my thumb where I normally have a piece of grip tape that really opens it up and I can actually put some downward pressure on it. It's kind of like a go fast pedal that you would see on a lot of open guns. Now we threw a RMR on here just to try it out and we've gotten a few rounds in. I just went and picked up some more ammo just so we could get a little bit of testing going and see how this thing really does uh, run at full speed. We're gonna do this for time. See what it looks like right away. Shoot it ready. Stand by. Four, center mass, 1.55. All right, we're going to go right back to it. Same thing. Shooter ready. Stand by. All there. 1.43. What do you think, Joe? Dude, that thing is freaking quick. It's <laughs> flat. It shoots flat. This is the first time I've ever run an MRO on an MFP. And uh, RMR. Pick RMR, not MRO. <laughs> Same thing. Whatever. It's, it's a red dot, right? No, it's, it's, so getting used to picking up that dot is different. But being able to go from iron sights to a dot, it's going to be hard to go back. <laughs> it's going to be hard to go back to my, my regular MMP though. Yeah. All right, let's do two rounds for time. See how flat we can get this thing shooting. All right, shoot it ready. Stand by. 1.1. 1. 1. Oh, you can break a second. Come on. All right. let's, let's push Joe a little bit. All right, shoot it ready. Stand by. Ooh, 1.02. Come on, I need got right. more rounds. All right, let's go. Last chance. Shooter ready. Stand by. 0.95. Take it. Bang. Shooter ready. Stand by. Yeah, that was a bit quick. <laughs> Take that. Freaking follow-up on this thing is awesome, man. It really is. Maybe we'll pick up that dot really fast. And how flat, I'm telling you, man, with this, uh, I'll show you this. If we can zoom in on here, this little slide cut, or the frame cut in here, is almost like a gas pedal that you get on any open gun. Okay, and being able to fit your thumb right into there and ride it, 
makes it shoot super flat. Everything's stippled and it's a real fine stippling, but very aggressive. So it really holds on to your, your grip really well. I, I like it a lot. <laughs> I don't know if you're getting it back. <laughs> I better get it back. Agency arms might be a little bit mad. Sorry, Parks, you just lost your gun. It's okay. I know who stole it. <laughs> so now it's my turn, but I don't have a holster for this because I don't shoot Smith and Wessons. Mm. So Joe's gonna run me. Right I'm now. just gonna. Yeah, right now I do. <laughs> for real. So. All right. Get it ready. Stand by. Five rounds. Yeah. One five eight. It's flat. And he's not joking, guys, these accelerator cuts. I've shot them on the, their Glock setups, and they're great. To see them do their magic on a Smith & Wesson is really, really nice. Give me another mag. Yeah, a couple rounds up. All right, let's do, let's, let's do some more. I got a couple in here. So needy. I know, I know, right? <laughs> Get it ready. Stand by. Three rounds, 113. Boom! Yeah, I, guys. The trigger on this is nuts. So let's take a little bit closer look at how good this trigger actually is. The agency trigger is unlike anything else. There's almost no take up and it breaks like glass. And as you can see this reset, there's almost nothing to it right there. So as you guys can see, the agency arms MMP is ridiculous. It is by far a flatter shooting gun. The trigger on it is absolutely a work of art. The slide cuts everything a part of this gun is amazing, but like I said, I'm biased. I love these guys. These guys are family for me. That's why I brought Joe. So Joe, what did you think? Well, honestly, man, I've been shooting an MMP for a long time, and this is by far the nicest MMP I've shot. Um, it is, like you said, the slide cuts are ridiculous. Being able to have the little aggressive uh, texturing on the grip and the go fast grip. I mean, the accelerator the, the, cut. The accelerator cuts. That would be the cut. Go fast cuts, accelerate. <laughs> you know, you know what it is. Um, but having that to be able to hold down on it. And the light and slide is phenomenal. So I can't say good enough good things about it. Yeah, and talking to the guys at Agency, one of the big things with that light and slide is the RMR actually helps balance that gun out. Mm -hmm. So I've shot it without the RMR. I actually just got the RMR in. Um, we literally stuck it on when I got out here because, of course, he was oogling and googling it. And he's like, <laughs> do you have an RMR? And I was like, yes, I do. And literally, I got attached way out here. I had to go to Ace Hardware to pick up the screws. But <laughs> it worked out really, is, really well. It is a little ghetto It is. Eggs. It is a little bit. Little bit, little bit. <laughs> but hey, it's gear gun reviews. That's how we roll. Absolutely. So, but it does help flatten that slide out. And it really, you don't get a big muzzle dip like you get on a lot of guns where it just forces forward. It doesn't rip back on you. And you guys can see in the footage, it runs super flat and super fast. So with that being said, guys, check out Joe. Joe, how do they find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Joe Farewell. That's Joe underscore Farewell. On Facebook, Spell your last name. F-A-R-E-W-E-L-L. -L. There we go. On Facebook, I've got Farewell Firearms Training. Um, if you go to Facebook slash Farewell Firearms, you can find me on there. Or you can check out my athlete page, uh, Joseph Farewell. So check me out on either, any one of those platforms. And you guys will probably see more of Joe, because I think we're going to talk to Joe about doing some three-gun videos. Um, Joe is oh, a yeah. very good three-gun shooter. He yeah. just got back from the Southeast Regional Pro Series. Shot against Jerry, the legend, Mitch like, yeah. and only lost to him by how long? How fast? Uh, 0.17 seconds. Literally, he calls me. He goes, I just lost to Jerry, <laughs> but it's not that big of a deal. It was a big deal. <laughs> it was a big so deal. we're going to get back with Joe um, probably in a couple more episodes um, talking about how to get started in three-gun mm -hmm. and like, maybe a couple drills to help a lot of those newer three-gunners get really started because Joe does a lot of that training, so it would be a great way to get people involved. So again, guys, you know the deal. Like, follow, and subscribe because that's what keeps us alive. And until next time, we'll see you later. Take care. Thank you.